Oh, my J, my J, what's up? We look over Star Green back with you guys. Another video today. Look, you guys, first time finding my channel or anything like that for your boy. Please hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video, it really does help. But yes, today I get to review my most anticipated TV series of the year, and that is The Boys Season 4. Yeah, yeah, this is, if you guys know me, you guys know that The Boys is one of my favorite TV series of all time. And yes, I have seen episodes one through eight. So I'll give you guys the full season review. Completely no spoilers. So uh let's get into it. Cue that intro. We got a problem. 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 It's probably you. Yeah, we got a problem. 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 All right, let's get into this review. So before this thing really kicks off, I gotta say two quick things. First thing, look, don't be worrying about these damn corners. I know, don't worry about them. I, there's nothing, I can't do it. I can't fix it now. I can't, there's nothing I can do right now. Um, And two, so I can't say a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is gonna be a completely non-spoiler review, but they did send us a bunch of stuff. There was like, where like, you cannot talk about this. Do not talk about this, do not talk about this. So you're gonna see me talk about some things, but I'm also gonna shy away from some things. So I just want you to know before you actually see this review. Just know that there's some things I kinda had to shy away from because the studio said don't bring it up. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing I wanna talk about, look, if you guys know me, I loved season three. Season three was my favorite season of the boys. And so it got me super hyped to come in here and watch season four. And I'm going to say this, if you guys really enjoyed those last couple of seasons, you are gonna love this one. Let's talk about it. So first thing, first thing I'll say, man, all this stuff that was in them last seasons, it's here again. Like, you guys remember, I'll get this out of the way real early. You guys remember how nasty some scenes got in the last series, or last season? You guys remember that first episode of the last season? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, this season, they, 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 look, every season they're trying to up what they did last season, and I think they might have upped it this season. So, y'all definitely say, like, this scene, this season's a lot more nastier, I'll say. But that's one of the reasons why you actually watch The Boys and why The Boys kind of separates itself from a lot of other projects. And another reason why is, well, let's talk about it. Man, the writing in this show and just how it compares to real life is just so well done. So pretty much without spoiling anything, this series, a lot of it, and tells them what's going on in real life. Like far right or the or the left, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what this season's about. And I think they do a really great job at kind of showcasing the two different sides. And it even had me like, how do they write this so well? I'm like, and you gotta think about it, this is coming out during an election year, so this could kind of be hard for some for some people to watch, and they could be like, "Oh no, no, no!" But I think it's something that you should watch. So yes, I love. Look, it's nasty, but I loved it. The writing is fantastic as it's always been. But I really want to talk about these characters. Now, you guys know, if you guys don't know, one of my favorite characters is Homelander, uh, played by Anthony Starr. And I'll just say, if you guys were scared of him in the last couple of seasons and how terrifying he was, how menacing he was, how controlling he was, how big of an ego he had, well, guess what? It's here in this season. And it's amplified in this season. There's parts in this season where literally Homelander becomes like the Joker. I remember I used to always be scared when I used to watch other characters in the same room room as him and in this season well there's something that he's trying to really get done he's kind of like look i want this done and i'm gonna get it done one way or another like so all the characters or whoever that that might not mess with his plan something like that you feel for them like you're genuinely scared like in this season i've been scared of homelander and a lot of other seasons. i don't think i've ever been more scared of, scared of homelander in this season like this season he's a he's like a menace like like i say in other seasons yeah he was scary but there was always something kind of holding him back a little bit and this season, it's like he has he has a specific goal. I can't say what the goal is, but he has a specific goal. And it's just like, it's like, like I said, he'll do anything to get to this goal. And this season really showed me why he is my favorite villain since the Joker. I know Thanos came out, right? Everybody, everybody, because the, the big question was, is Homelander the best villain since the Joker? I say yes. A lot of people are like, y'all forgetting about Thanos. I love Thanos. I think Thanos is the best MCU villain. When I watched Thanos on screen, I wasn't truly terrified of what he could do. Yeah, his dialogue was on point, but I wasn't really scared of Thanos. 
I am terrified of Homelander. There was a huge difference there. That dude puts the fear in me. Like, a lot of his scenes, I'm like watching it under the sheets. Like, and I, I'm, I, I hope they gonna be all right. I hope this character gonna be all right. Because you know, you say one thing wrong and Homelander will dead ass kill you. And like I said, there's he, he has a huge motivation in this scene. So it's like, damn, the stakes are right. Like, the stakes in the other season were like down here. The stakes in this season are up here. So we're like, yo, Homelander got even scarier. So yes, I think he's definitely the best villain we've had since Heath Ledger's Joker, 100%. And like I said, I'm gonna talk about these characters, but I just can't really get too deep into them because, you know, but look, I'll just say, I really did enjoy The Butcher because if you guys remember in the last series, The Butcher took this temp V, so pretty much he only has like six months to live or whatever, six months to a year or whatever, something like that. And in this season, he's kind of off doing his own thing, but he still, he does, does stuff with the boys, but sometimes he's kind of like just like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm gonna stay over here for a little bit. It's not a hundred percent a different butcher, but I kind of like the different side of butcher we kind of see in this season. I, but I can't tell you guys why, because there'll be a spoiler. Another character I thought really got improved in this season was Homelander's son, Ryan, man. Ryan really, Ryan really stepped it up for me in this season, because in this season, he has way much more to do. There's a lot more on his shoulders in this season. And there's some scenes where you kind of just feel bad for Ryan. Like his two father figures are the two people he can kind of look up to are freaking Homelander and Butcher. You can't get no worse than them two. So it's just like, he kind of just has to go back and forth with these two the entire season. It's just like, yo, I, I, I you just feel bad for the kid. But I really did like how the actor portrayed Ryan. Cause there's a lot of emotions he has to express in this season. And I think he did a very great job in expressing them and showing us to him. Another character I thought did well, and I really can't get too deep into this character, uh, Huey. So Huey really has a lot more to do here. He has like, he has like his own little thing he has going on too. And Huey really stepped up for me too. Now, I can't tell you guys 100% why, but I'll just tell you, he has a really good subplot and I think it really helps him out the rest of the, for the, for the rest of the season. There's a subplot he has going on. I can't spoil it, can't say it, but, it really does, I feel like, elevate Huey's character the rest of the season. Another character, I not ever thought really too highly on her, but I was like, she's all right, she's fine. I'll say Starlight, and I can't, I really can't tell you why, why on this one, but I know her, so she changed her face a little bit, so you might, guys might recognize it, because I definitely recognized it. But there's something going on with her, and she has a conflict with another character, and I thought this conflict that she had with this other character, I thought elevated both characters. Because he gave a reason to be really invested in not only Starlight, but his other character. And like I said, I can't say who she has his beef with, stuff like that. Um, but just know, I really liked Starlight and, and the other character that's completely opposite of her. I definitely liked both of them. Mo and Mother's Milk, now Mother Milk, yeah, he does look, he does look a little bit different. Uh, he slimmed down a little bit. I think something was going on. I forgot what I, I I did read about something, so don't make fun of him. But he is still great in this series. There's something that goes on with him too, and I cannot spoil it. But he muscle, mother's milk has always been great in my eyes, and he's still great in this season because. One of the great things about him in this season that I can say is that pretty much now he's the leader. Like, you know how it's always been Butcher that is the leader of the boys? Well, now it's kind of Mother's Milk that's the leader. And I feel like when you're watching Mother's Milk become the leader and him strategizing the plan and telling the team what to do, I feel like, at least for me, I feel like it works more for the, for the series. And I think it's more entertaining to watch as a whole. And the last character I'm going to talk about is, I think, my favorite character in the entire season. I know I love Home. Homelander. I love Homelander. I, I, every time he's on screen, I love him. But I think the character that I felt like in my eyes got the most justice, did the best, I think was A-Train. You know, a lot of people might not talk about A-Train, but A-Train got a lot of character development in this season. And if you guys seen the other seasons, you kind of see it coming, you know, where they could probably try to take it. But I, I really like what they did with A-Train's character throughout this season. Now, the last character I'll talk about is Sister Sage. And I won't say too much about her because a lot of things will be spoilers. But what I'll say about her is that she was the most fun character to watch, I feel like. Because when you watch her, you're like, yo, okay, what angle is she playing? Like, you know her power is the, the most, the, like, you know her power is the smartest person on the planet. So you're like, okay, what angle is she trying to play? So she was definitely, by, she was by far my favorite character to watch on screen. And that's all I can say to them characters because I, I ain't gonna have Amazon bring it, breathing down my neck. So that's all I can say without spoiling anything. Now, this show is notorious 
for everybody blackmailing one another. And best believe me, it's here. And I feel like it's even better here because you're like, you, you guys know in the first three seasons, yeah, everybody will blackmail one another, right? Oh, I got this information on you, so you gotta do this for me. You know, you know that's always been in, in the boys. But in this season, I feel like it's amplified because the stakes are just so much higher in this season. This season is by far the darkest season of the boys that we have got. Like once you get into characters' backstories and you start to see, okay, this is how this is why they are how they are now, you're gonna be like, oh, this is dark. And there's a lot of surface level things that are just dark. This this whole season as a whole is just dark. Like the tone is just darker. Like I've always kind of considered the boys not goofy, but like, ah, uh, you know, it's still kind of a playful time here and there. This one's like, oh, ain't no time for no goddamn games. Like there is there is a mission, the boys gotta stop it, the other side's trying to get it. So it's like you're on the edge of your seats, gripping your chair, just like, oh my god, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Like, what, what's gonna happen? You know? And I think all of that really works for this series. And it's one of the reasons why I just love watching the boys. Like, I've never felt so much amount of emotions watching the boys. Like other seasons, yeah, I've had it there, but like there'd be times where like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so scared. Or I'm laughing cause they would know how to throw in really good comedy. Or I'm damn near maybe in tears. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is just done so well in this season. Now I know I got a lot of ups in this season. I'm just gonna quickly give you guys two downs just really quickly. So two things I don't think that were really done properly. One was a CGI. Uh, maybe it's cause I was watching it on an iPad, but I don't think the CGI in this season was done that well. So when I'm recording this, only three episodes have dropped and it's just the first three episodes. Um, and you can kind of see the CGI there. And I was just like, this is noticeably kind of bad. <laughs> and then you'll see it as, it as it goes along, but it just doesn't, to me, get any better. And what I was talking about earlier, like how disgusting, how nasty it gets. Yeah, it's, it, it's somewhat distracting a little bit and it's somewhat bothersome. Like, I know that the boys have always done it, but in this season, it's like they're doing it just to do it. There's some scenes, and I can't even explain these scenes because it'd be spoilers, but there's some stuff that happens that's like, yo, if y'all really just remove this, the story, nothing changes if you just remove this. But it's like, yo, let's just do it because we're the boys and we can do this. And it's just like, there's some scenes where it just it just happens and I, I press pause and I wanted to give me a glass of water or something. I was like, yo, I cannot just sit here and watch this. I'm like, this is disgusting. Some of this is just nasty. Like when I say nasty, like I can't get into specifics, but there's something that happens in like that sixth episode, I believe. And it revolves around like a couple of characters, but that whole entire like scene is just nasty. And I can't explain nothing about it, but just know it's nasty. So I feel like there was one too many of those scenes because from the boys, I have never paused it so much. Like literally, I've never ever paused the boys and been like, all right, let me go take a bathroom break, something like that. Cause I, I, I gotta get away from this little iPad while I'm watching. So yeah, there, there's some of those scenes where they get a little nasty. And I think they might get too nasty. Now I feel like if they had to make, if it makes sense why they probably get this nasty, nah, all right. But it just feel like they just get nasty just to get nasty. So those are like two like little criticisms, whatever you want to say. But other than that, I loved this season. This is a season like last season I could binge it, but this one was like, yo, I 100% had to binge it. Every time my episode ended, I won the next episode immediately. And I, I mean, I had the I had the access to do it. I remember there was one episode that ended and I was like, no, no, no. I, I was like, I gotta watch that next episode right now to see where it goes from here. And it's like every episode is like that. So give kudos to the writing. Like I would almost say like, wait for all eight episodes to come out and then watch it all. But y'all ain't gonna do that. And the ending of this series, the last episode, is so crazy. I can't say none of y'all, but it's so crazy. And it has me so excited for season five. I want season five right now. But I'll tell you guys, like, end all, end all, I had a complete blast watching this season. It's not my favorite season, but it's up there. And it's it's really good. And I know the la the next season's gonna be the last one. They've already announced season five is gonna be the last season. Um, and I'm really excited to see where it goes in season five. I know, I know, I know. So I'm sorry I could not say too much, like give away too many plot details, stuff like that, because Amazon told me not to. So I'm respecting their wishes. So what I will do is when all eight episodes come out, 
I will do a complete spoiler review and I'll just do like a deep dive. We'll, we'll sit down and we'll just talk about it. But my rating on this, look, I absolutely adored this season. I loved it for the action. I think the action is probably the best we've gotten so far. Like they definitely up the action. You can definitely see the production of this series definitely goes up. And you can see that in episode one. Like I, episode one through three is out right now. You can see how much the production went, like I said, basically off of episode one. The, all the characters, I feel like the thing that the boys do well is know how to write their characters. That's some sometimes that's something that Marvel can't even do right. So yes, they they really do a great job at, at writing their characters, developing all their characters. Home Homeland gets a lot of development. Uh, A Train, you know, Butcher, Huey, like everybody gets a lot of character development, and they all spend like a great uh, separate time giving it to them. You even got Huey that that does a lot in this season. As a whole. I really did enjoy this season. I'm, I'm actually rewatching it. You know, I'm, I'm actually like going through rewatching it. Maybe there's some stuff I missed because I adored this season. I absolutely loved it so much. So I'm going to give this a high 8 out of 10. I think it's definitely worth your time. I think you'll definitely be invested in every episode you see. I think you'll definitely love it. So if you guys have seen it or if you guys have seen the first three episodes or whatever, whenever this drops, please let me know your guys' thoughts so far. Or if you guys have seen this at the end of the season, tell me you guys' thoughts on the whole entire season. Please let me know. Hey, if you guys first time finding my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, like the video. Tell me you guys' thoughts, complaints, criticism. Stuff like that down below. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.